so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now I really wanted to wear red lipstick today so I organized the whole look around it I kept the eyes more neutral but I decided to intensify the lower lash line a lot more than I usually do I don't usually go with that dark lower lash line um, the only time that I would wear so dark shadows along the lower lashes is if I'm wearing a really dark and um, intense and bold smoky eye this is really out of my comfort zone but you know what I think that everyone should do looks that they're out of their comfort zone from time to time because you never know, you may actually really like how they look on you. So I really hope you guys like the look and you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to start off with some primer. I'll use the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Pure Light Primer and I will apply it all over my face with my fingers. For foundation, I'll go with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Foundation and I have it in the shade Porcelain and I'll use my Beauty Blender to apply it all over my face Some of you guys ask me how I use my Beauty Blender if I'm using it wet or dry and I always wet it before I use it I think that it's a lot better when you use it when it's damp To conceal my under eye area, I'll go with the NYX HD Studio Concealer and I have it in the shade Porcelain, again. <laughs> so I'll just apply a little bit here under my eyes. Well, that's not really a little bit, but... <laughs> and I'm taking my Beauty Blender again and I'll just blend it out. I also take it here on my eyelids as well and I will set it in place with the Rimmel Match Perfection in Transparent the brush I'm using for that is the Sigma F35 this is actually a highlighter brush but I love using it for setting that under eye area there I think that it's really convenient Alright, now let's go ahead and do the eye makeup and once we're done with it, we'll go back to the face. I'll start off with my eyebrows. I'll use my Sigma Brow Powder Duo in medium brown. And I'm using the lighter powder. I'm just going to take it on an angled brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12. I'll also use that NYX concealer that I used under my eyes as an eyeshadow primer today. So I'm just... Adding some of it on my eyelids and I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. Make sure that you bring it up to the brow bone. And then I'll go ahead and set it with that translucent powder that I used under my eyes as well. This will prevent it from creasing and it will also help with the blending of the eyeshadow that I will apply on top of it. Alright, so today on the eyes I want to do something really simple, definitely not natural, but I kind of want to keep the shadows part really simple. I also use like mainly neutral colors, so from the Zweeba Nude Spectrum Palette I will take... I'll take this shade right here, it's actually a really nice nude color and I'll use it to define my crease, this is actually going to be my transition color To do that I'm using the MAC 217 Then I'll take this warm brown shade right here and with the Sigma E25 I will apply it in the very very outer corner of my eye Then I'll switch again to that MAC 217 that I used to apply the first shade and with no additional product on it, I'll just uh, make sure that all of the edges of that dark brown shade are nice and blended. So first I'm blending it into the crease right here, like this. And then you also want to blend it into that lid area, like kind of bringing it a little bit more into the lid area. And this way you're going to diffuse all the harsh lines. And to add some brightness to the look, I would take this shade right here. With the Morphe M514, I will apply it all on my eyelid. And 
I'll stop right somewhere here. I won't bring it on top of that dark brown shade that we just applied. I'm just very lightly dusting it. I don't want it to be too intense. If you want to make it look a lot more shiny, you can use a flat brush to apply it or even your fingers. But I don't want it to be that intense, so that's why I'm using a big fluffy brush. I'm really excited for today's look because I want to do something that I don't usually do, but you know, I want to try to do it today. <laughs> I really want to do a very dark lower lash line, so let's see how it will turn out. I'm going to start again with that warm brown shade that I also used on my eyelids and I will apply it along my lower lash line with the Sigma L04. This is a really really small pencil brush. I think that it's so cute. And then I'm taking again that beige color on the Sigma E41 and I'll use it to blend out the dark brown shade along my lower lashes so that um, you know it's a little bit more smoked out. Oh, this is tickling me. <laughs> See, it looks a lot better when you have it blended out. I'll also apply some of the black eyeshadow. I'll use again that Sigma L04. And you want to apply it really closely to your lash line. I'll take again that Sigma E41 and I'll just, you know, blend it out once again. And you also want to kind of extend it right here. I look kind of crazy right now, but it will all come together, don't worry. Now let's go ahead and do some winged eyeliner. I'll use the benefit the real push-up liner I really love this eyeliner I mean the product is really dark it's really matte but the applicator is a little bit difficult to get used to working with it I don't know if they have the same product in a jar like a gel eyeliner but if they do it would be really nice. All right, and since the lower lash line is so dramatic, I also had some false lashes. I'll use this really long pair by the Page Trends. It's called Onyx. In my other line, I'm going to add some black pencil. This is the Jouer Slim Cream Eyeliner in matte black. I'm applying some mascara on my lower lashes as well. I kind of like the intense lower lash line. I didn't believe that I would say that, but I mean, it looks good. You should definitely wear something on the upper lid. I would recommend you to do a very intense lower lash line without anything on the upper lid. Now let's go ahead and finish up the face. First I'll add some of that L'Oreal powder that I used at the beginning um, right here where I'm going to apply some of the products. And also a little bit on my T-zone basically everywhere <laughs> and then to add some definition I'll go with this bronzer here by Jouer it's called Santan and I will apply it with the Zuiva 127 I'll add some warmth with this blush here by the Balm, it's called Frat Boy and I will apply it with the Morphe M509. For highlighter, I'm going with my all-time favorite Mary Lou, again by the Balm. I haven't been using it for a while and I've been really missing it. I'll also add it in the inner corners of my eyes, right here, and also on my brow bone. So today I'm planning on wearing a red lipstick. Usually I'm feeling just two ways about the lipsticks. It's either I want to go with something really natural and nude or I want to wear something really bold and dark. But I think that the red lip is something in between. I mean, it's not really natural, but it's not 
um, really bold as well. That's how I'm feeling about it and I think that is because the red is really classic color. So first I'll go ahead and line my lips with this lip liner here by the balm. And for lipstick, I'll go with this one here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called American Doe. This is my favorite red lipstick. I think that it's the perfect red shade. And this is the finish look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Remember that if you don't feel like wearing red lipstick or you just don't feel comfortable wearing it, you can always switch to something else that you like better. Honestly, this eye makeup is suitable for every lip color. I'm feeling really weird wearing that um, intense lower lash line without really dark uh, shadows on the upper lid as well. But I actually really like it and I think that it looks really, really nice. I thought that it would look absolutely terrible and... Uh, but uh, I was wrong. And I really like it. <laughs> That's why you should always experiment with different looks and you know just to find what looks best on you. And I really encourage you to try out different stuff. I mean it's makeup, it's fun, just try it. So I really hope you guys like today's look and if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>